Hello friends, welcome to the New Tech Navigators. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a customer service dashboard in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this customer service dashboard. First of all, we are showing here number of tickets. So total tickets received for the customer complaint or request. And here we have the average satisfaction score. This is the average resolution days and the first chart we are showing here that is average satisfaction score by the channel so we receive the request or the complaint by phone social media email and chat then here we have the number of tickets by the issue type so they are different issue type this is number of ticket by priority average resolution days by issue type and here total the open cases by the region and this is average satisfaction score by the customer sentiment and first contact resolution by the issue type and this is the average resolution days by the assigned agent now i will show you the data we have here this simple data wherein we are capturing the various information related to the tickets first we are taking the ticket id this is the customer name and here we have the issue type which is a drop down you can manage this drop down from here you can add more categories this is priority then here we have the channel region assigned agent created date resolved date and here we have the satisfaction score first contact resolution response time in hour and here we have a reopen case whether it is reopen or not if it is one then this case is reopened and if it is zero then this is not reopened we have here customer sentiment and this is the resolution days which is a formula which is simply resolution date resolved date minus created date okay so this is showing the number of days now on the basis of this data we have created this dashboard which is ready to use to analyze your customer service now i will show you how you can create this dashboard in google sheets step by step so first what I am going to do, I will use the same data. So I'll just copy this data and go to the file and insert a new spreadsheet. So this is the blank untitled spreadsheet and we can simply paste the data here. Okay, so whole data is appearing here. Now here we have created the drop down. You can just simply select your data and right click and just go to the drop down then you can add the drop down from the data validation or the drop down window and here you can add the more item or you can delete any item from here okay similarly you can do for the others also now this is the ready to use data the last one is the formula so i have already explained this is simply resolved date minus created date okay then we are getting the result in days now I will show you how you can create the dashboard. So this is the data sheet. Now add a new sheet and we will keep the name as dashboard. Now we will start the similar design like we have created here in this dashboard sheet. So first row we will put the header like we have put here till n a to n. So just select that range. Here in the dashboard, just select A to N till here and use merge cells. Increase the row height and we can put here our title like customer service dashboard. And let's align this center and middle. Increase the font size, take around uh, 24 or 25 and take the font as Arial rounded color you can take this dark color here and take the font as white now let's go to the view so uncheck the grid lines from here and uh, reduce the row height for the row number two now here we will create the cards like we have created here for the number of tickets average satisfaction score and average resolution days so to create that we have taken here two column a and b you can see so let's take two column these two and use merge cells and this is number of tickets and we will select some range here to show that value so select this range and use merge cell and we will format this these two range so align this center middle and uh, for this one let's take the area rounded and this one also let's take the area rounded here we will take the size around 50 or 60 
now we will fill some color here so you can decide which theme color you want to take let's say i'm taking this color here font i'll take white and here i will take the same theme color but the lighter one okay and font i will take the darker one this one or this one so to get the number of tickets we can use the count a function and let's get the count from the data sheet tab and we will get the count of ticket id so let's take the whole range and just enter so we are getting here number of tickets we can further format this just select this range and go to the border and take uh, white border and thick line this one and just click on all borders okay so we can see it is looking like this now let's make a copy of this and paste this here and here also okay now the second one we will take here we have taken the average satisfaction score the same thing we will take there so let's move here and just put this title the next title is average resolution days just copy this and let's paste this here you can quickly change the color so let's say i'm taking this blue theme here and here you can take this blue color font also let's take in this blue color here you can change the theme let's say i'm taking this yellow color and here also let's take this yellow and the font also okay now we will change the formula so for average satisfaction score we will use the average function average let's come down to the data sheet and we will select the satisfaction score this one till the end and just enter and let's take till one decimal place only this one so this is 3.0 similarly here we will use the average this is for the resolution days so select the resolution days here the last column this one till the end and just enter again take the one decimal place all right so we have created the card successfully like we have created here if you want to take the darker theme uh, font you can take the same darker font here like this and here also this one and here also this one okay so this is more visible now we will create the chart like we have created average satisfaction score by channel so to create that chart you just need to insert a chart let's insert a blank chart here now we will change the data range so just click here and let's delete this so we want to take the average satisfaction score by the channel so let's come to the data the first thing we will take here channel channel is on column e so let's select this range till the end or even you can take the header so let's click here e to e and add another range and this time we will take the average satisfaction score okay so just select the satisfaction score this one click on okay now we will do some more things here like uh, for the uh, x axis is the just take here x axis channel and aggregate this one and the satisfaction score is showing this sum but we will take here average okay and then let's come to the customize now we will add the data labels here so let's go to the series and here just add the data labels if you want to change the chart type you can change it from here take the bar we have taken here bar chart so you can take this bar okay and from the customize you can take you make it 3d and change the color of this if you want so you can come to the series and uh, let's take here fill color let's say i'm taking this color now double click on the x data labels because it is not in proper format just scroll it down and here you can see the number format for the data labels so let's go to the other custom formats and here we can put the 0.0, .0 format apply so this is in proper format now let's add the chart title also so we can type here chart title go to the chart and access titles and this is average satisfaction score by channel okay and you can align this center and reduce the font size also you can take font color black font size around 12 and make it a smaller 
let's keep this here just make this smaller now we will create the other chart like we have created here uh, or we can create this chart now so let's make the copy of this and paste that chart here we will change this chart into the donor chart just double click setup and chart types like the donor chart this one and the range we will take this is the number of ticket by ID. so just click here and delete this range and delete this one also so let's go to the data go to the pride column select column D we just want to get the count so we can just click on OK use row 1 as header so it is automatically showing the count of priority you don't need to take that go to the customize and make this chart 3d pie chart and you can show the value here on the slice labels and legend you can show at bottom and you can make this slightly bigger just double click and increase the size you can change the colors also as per your requirement just click here and you can change the color let's say I want to take this color and here I want to take some other color ok accordingly you can change that and change the title also this is the number of ticket by right ok so this chart is ready now we will create the other charts also the next chart is the average resolution days by issue type so we can make the copy of any chart let's say this one copy paste and make this slightly bigger double click here and change the chart type first we want to take this chart as column so let's take here column chart this one and then change the range so we want to take this as average res resolution days by issue type just click here delete the range this one also so first take the issue type here on the first range from the data issue type is on column C then take the resolution days which is available in the last column O just click on OK so we can see it is showing the number properly if you want to make this 3D you can make it from here 3D and this is the average resolution days average resolution days by issue type ok so this is done now we'll create this chart also which is number of tickets by issue type so we can just make the copy of this one and paste this here let's keep this here and make it bigger in height and reduce the width we will convert this chart into the bar chart so just double click and here we'll change the chart type let's take the bar chart you can make this 3d if you want or you can keep it as it is and then we will change the range here so we don't need this one we just need the issue type only just click on this now it is showing the number of uh, tickets by the issue type you can see that you can just change this number of tickets by issue type okay now we will create the other charts also like we have created here in the third row that is total the open case by the region so you can just copy any chart let's say this one and paste that here double click change the chart type let's take the line chart here 
and uh, data we will take the total the open case by the region so delete both and come to the data first take the region here so region is available on column F this one just select that then reopen case is available on column M this one click on OK so this is the re reopen case by region we can change the chart title okay and if you want to make the line smoother just select that go to the customize and chart style you can make it smooth and from the series you can add the point size also let's take seven point okay so this is ready now it is showing 0 0.2 let's see why it is showing it is taking the average let's take here some okay so now it is showing the proper number the next one average satisfaction score by the customer sentiment so average satisfaction score we have here this one so we can copy this and let's paste this here and just keep this here just double click so here we will take the customer uh, sentiment for the first range so just come here customer sentiment is available on column m n this one just click and click on ok can just change this now we will adjust this chart from the setup and here you can see on the x y axis it is showing the satisfaction score it should be customer satis sentiment this one use the first row as header so we can see that here and just add the series here customer uh, satisfaction score and the average okay so now it is showing the correct result let's take the next that is the first contact resolution by issue type make it smaller so this is first contact resolution by issue type just double click first change the chart type Let, let's take the area then just click here just delete this one and we'll take the first contact resolution column k click on ok ok you can put here fcr first contact resolution by issue type and this would be average or let's take this sum because this is 1 and 0 ok so this is total count alright so this one is also ready you can make this smoother if you want from here you can just make this smooth now the last chart is the average resolution days by assigned agent so let's copy this one and let's paste this here and you can make this bigger just double click to change the range here we will take assigned agent name just take this one change the title and change this this is should be the assigned agent name and here take the resolution days which should be average okay so this is done so that is how we have created this customer service dashboard friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching